Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today I got another story to share. And if you have a story to share, please visit writemac.com. Send it in. I'll take a look at it and possibly make a YouTube video just like this. And I'm going to give you my take right now. And I'd appreciate your take also in the comments if you have something to add to this story that's being shared. And if you like my take, throw me a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. We were together nearly six years. That's a long time. Six years is a long time. That's a serious relationship. Um, and that's going to take a little bit more time to, to get over. So a lot of times I have people one year, two years, six years. You put in your time. And congratulations, by the way, because a six-year relationship is an achievement. And I've been there. We broke up two months ago. We lived together for two of those years. And then the last year moved in with my parents to save for a mortgage. Okay. I've heard of this happening before. Living together is much different than um, when you're living in separate houses. It's a totally different kind of relationship. And add in the fact that you moved, into, moved in with your parents with good intentions can definitely add stress to the relationship. So I understand where you're coming from, but I've seen this go wrong before. Um, this is our first ever breakup. And to be honest, I think neither of us expected it. He still says to this day that it was never his intention to ask for a breakup, but it was the needed thing to be done. Well, that's interesting. Um, he's comfortable with his decision, obviously. Um, I don't know what he means by it wasn't his intention, so I have to read a little further. The cause to the breakup was that we recently started a new job, and they go out socializing a lot, and this was eating into our time together. Okay, new job, new friends, new attitude, new personality. If someone's working 40 hours a week, this is going to take who they are and change them, and they're going to hang out with a new group of people, and it could be a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. In this particular case, it was bad. I have recently started my teacher training and been focusing on that. Well, congratulations. I've been a teacher for nine years, and I love it. Highly rewarding career, I believe. Uh, it has been for me. Therefore, we started to neglect each other. There you go. It all blew up. Dun dun. In an argument where he said he only saw me as a companion, that he felt lonely and worthless when around me. Well, isn't that a statement? Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on this, uh, but I think, and I'm not saying this about you as an individual, but I think women sometimes really want to get appreciated and loved and. Um, complimented and they kind of lose track that men want the same thing sometimes especially in a long relationship and i'm not saying you did this but the idea that he felt lonely and worthless worthless is a very strong word it's how you use language and how you use words that means that you know unappreciated that's a strong word to feel worthless it means that you're, you're he's never satisfying you he's never impressing you i'd become very bored and predictable since then, he has been enjoying his the single life, going out drinking most nights and doing God knows what. Well, when he's single, he's single and he has a right to do what he wants to do. And it's no longer your responsibility uh, when you are in the relationship to tell him what's wrong and what's right. And if he was feeling worthless and lonely, I'm sure it's fun right now. But at some point, you know, you're together six years. He's going to miss you at some point. What what he does in that time, I don't know. I recently learned from a mutual friend that he has been talking to, to other girls also. You don't want to know that. That doesn't serve you. Throughout all of this, he has been telling me he misses me and loves me. If you've been together six years, you lived together two years, you had a lot of plans. Regardless if you get back together or not, he's going to miss you at times. You were very close. But he doesn't see it as enough to work. He says he thinks of me daily, and the drinking stops the pain of missing me. Well, you're not going to, that's, that's not highly productive uh, to be using that as a stopgap. But again, it's not your responsibility to get him to stop drinking. I've agreed with his decision as I do see the breakup as a great reality shock. Well, good way to put it. It has enabled me to refocus, go to therapy about my withholding of emotions issue. Okay, so you, in a breakup, you learn a lot about yourself if you do it right, because you go, okay, I'm so upset about this. Let me learn a little bit more about myself because that's what I control. However, he will not see the changes and says he will not, never get back together. Okay, never is a strong word. Um, stop talking to him and see what happens. Pull away all your attention 
and emotion away from him and see what happens. He needs to focus on himself and change himself to be happy and seek validation from others. Well, if right now he's living a single life and getting drunk with his buddies, uh, I think you guys are going in different directions if you're in therapy and he's, you know, getting drunk. Christmas passed and he did not message me. The last contact we had was me saying that the next time he contacts me, it needs to be about reconciliation. Nothing else is enough for me. Okay, well, you need to take the power away and just block him on social media, maybe change your phone number because if he's making statements like he'll never get back with you but he still wants to talk to you and still misses you, uh, that's just not going to serve you and that's not what you're looking for. And the fact that you need to state it to him before you talk, uh, that makes it controlling and it makes it feel unnatural for him. If you're saying like, well, if you call me, it has to be all in. See, when people break up, nobody wants to be told by the other person what to do. If they're going to get back together, it needs to be natural. It needs to be organic. You need to start over again. You don't need to put these, well, if we talk again, we're back together. It doesn't. Whether that's the man or the woman doing that, it usually doesn't work. We haven't talked in a week, but he watches all my Instagram stories and my mutual friends as it's clear he is, he is missing you. If you really want to see where his heart lies, cut off all contact, block, your, block his phone number, and really go into no contact for a month for you and handle your therapy, handle your schooling, and move forward. And the way you want him to come back is on your doorstep saying, look, I really miss you and I want to make this work. And if you just talk to him on the phone, you're weaning him off the relationship. However, the thought always lingers that he has been with others now physically and emotionally. So how can I get over that? To me, it's like cheating, seeing as it's only took him a month. Well, that is a big issue. I understand that completely. I've told numerous people, if you find out someone's already been with someone and then you get back with them, is that going to be an issue for you? You're going to keep bringing it up. Because now that they've hooked up with someone else, while they were single, they had complete right to do it. If you were to get back in the future, could you let that go? You know, Are you going to bring it up all the time? Is it going to be a scar on your future relationship? If it is, you guys got to go separate ways. Do you think this is a lost cause as two months on, he still believes it will never work? Uh, what do you believe? I mean, you're, he, everything's in his favor right now when he's, oh, I'll never work, but I do miss you, but we can't talk to you. He's getting his cake and eat it too. So I, like I said, I would highly suggest that you go all in on no contact. You go all in on... Uh, no social media, and then see what happens. And you just got to go forward for yourself. Is it a lost cause? All right, this guy's drinking drinking the breakup away, right? He's changed quite a bit. He said you made him, he said the relationship made him feel lonely and worthless. What are you chasing? Do you think you made him feel lonely and worthless would be another question. Or am, are you comfortable? Let's say you get back together. He has the same job. He has the same attitude of going back out. Is this a relationship you want? And are you going to be able to actually have a relationship with someone that's been screwing around the last month now he has that validation from others is it is it enough for him to never come back who knows really i don't know this individual very well but i'll tell you this you don't need to spend time guessing hoping and wishing you need to move on with your life go all in on your teaching career go all in on your therapy and really work on yourself and this is going to take some time and if he comes back he needs to be at your doorstep saying you know uh, I want to be with you. I want to make this work. And I want to put this relationship in the same place you want to put this relationship. Because if you were saving up for a mortgage, that means you were looking at a long-term thing. And right now, he wants to be a little bit selfish. Can you handle that? He has always said he never returns to an ex. Should, he, should this be giving us hope? Well, you know, whatever he believes, he believes. But if he keeps stating that over and over again, there's a high chance that he believes that's who he is, and he probably won't come back in that case. He knew that I was still there to help and talk, yet he still seeked that from others. It hurt more than anything. Well, take control of the situation. Go all in on no contact. Go all in on no social media. I've already said this a couple of times, but you got to get back to what you control. You're, you're going into like, well, does he do this? Well, does he do that? Should I think this? Fuck that. Okay, take control of the situation. If you're having a lot of trouble with this, I'd consider a live coaching session to get everything out. Um, two hours, if, if not me, go to another um, uh, breakup coach out there um, and get it all out on the table because six years is a long time. There's a lot of stuff you're holding. Uh, and I find that people, the longer the relationship, the more they really need to talk to someone and not necessarily get their ex back, but just get everything out on the table because there's so many things running through your head. So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you have a breakup story you'd like to share. Otherwise, thank you for supporting the channel.